guys, this is Lena and Ma from waytogoodlife.com and Way to Good Life Kids. And oh wow, look at that silly face. <laughs> I, how are you guys enjoying your summer? It has been a blast for us. We have been traveling a lot. Uh -huh. Yes. And we've been pleased. You know, the kids have been going to the camp, so that that's been, you know, exciting. We all had lots of fun. We're okay. Hey, silly face. Uh -huh. I know so many parents, you know, face, especially those that work and have very little control over what kids are doing during the day, is how are kids getting dumber over summer? The That's only rhymes. <laughs> are you getting dumber? Nope. Oh my God, really? Of course. Oh, it's because you're staying smart. How? Like, yeah, look at that face. It says, it's just a smart right over it. <laughs> so today we actually wanted to share uh, three <laughs> ways how we think uh, kids can stay smart over summer. This is at least new to us. Maybe it's new to you too. The very first one is Mathnesium. Okay, so we went to Mathnesium a few months ago. We've gone there for like several months. And it, I think it might be a really good one to do over summer. Uh, what it is, it's, in, it's a, we went to Mathnesium in Buffalo Grove and it's a math tutoring center. So what can you tell us about it? So when you're just starting out at Mathnasium, you have to take like a little checkup. They test you and they actually figure out if your kids have, uh, you know, like gaps. So even because when we went there, when this lady was in the fourth grade, they tested the third and the fourth grade and to, just to see if she has any gaps anywhere else. Don't and forget then, my little bro. And RT. yes, well, yes. And you know, obviously, yeah, your brother went too. So, but what they did for her, what that did for her, that actually they, she was able to ask the questions that she cannot usually ask in school. And she was able to, Get, get cards. Oh yes, it's they make it really really fun. Yes. So you have to complete a series of pages to get a card. So when you get enough cards, you can actually get something. You could either spend or save them. I saved ten cards so I could get Pinecone the Hedgehog. Okay. So I think we honestly think that's a really really great option to consider. Here is option number two. Bits box. <laughs> okay. Judge Jinx. So, Bits box is it's online program that for coding. Is, for coding, yes. They have different layer, levels of membership, mm -hmm. and uh, so when you order from them, it comes like in this. The very first order comes in this really really cute binder, it does. and and it has apps. So, yep. yeah. So you start with the mini apps, and they tell you exactly what to do. And the good thing is, if you actually have multiple kids, they can create their own accounts, and you not you don't have to pay extra for it. So it starts. You start with the very small, you know, sm with the small mini apps. Can you just hold on to this? Welcome to the wormhole. And then, you, from there, you're getting into more advanced apps. So that actually, uh, you know, the rain. Like let's for for example, uh, it's raining cats and dogs. Can you tell us about that one? So you have to code. So you have to code each app precisely to yes. make it work right. So I don't know, we can actually see it here, but there is a code right here. It tells you exactly what to do. And there's also an app number. Whenever you want to make a new app, you have to copy the app number onto the... Onto yes. the... Into onto the, the interface. Box. It actually has a really cute interface. So when you finish this app, what does it look like? When it's done, you can tap anywhere on the little phone screen that comes with the app. And... There, it, and it's raining either cats or dogs. It literally rains cats and dogs. And then once you, if you can get like more adventurous, you can put like other animals in there too. Yeah. And we can make it bigger, yeah. or smaller. Or, yeah, mini challenges. Yes. It, um, the pages are yes. so come yes. with challenges. They have mini challenges. So when yeah. you finish with one, you can do something else with it. So now we tried it for one month. We bought it. And then... It's really cool. Just honestly, I wanted to be able to show you this binder because it's pretty. However, at the very, I think because I think it cost between twenty and thirty dollars. I don't actually have to, have to double check. But at the very lowest level, you don't get these cards. 
it's all printable. So after the first month, we switch to the, you know, sort of kind of the cheapest option, which it comes in email. It's literally, you get an email that says, your new month apps are here and you the same it's the same thing as on the cards but you just print it all you just print it yourself my favorite so, one is welcome to the wormhole which is printed out welcome to the wormhole is like one of those apps that like it's made with a broken code and you have to fix it like for example part of it at the end when you click, it makes like a little quacking sound instead of like, whoosh, I don't really remember the sound. But yeah, you can modify it to however you want after you're done with the app itself. So what at the end, what does it do? So at the end, when you click, it goes to like, a certain point yeah. it spins yes. and then it goes to a certain point and then it just gets smaller and smaller so it's like goes into the infinite loop it go it gets smaller and smaller until it reaches its destination and then it just goes Poof. it just Poof. disappears yeah so i think this is actually a really cool non-traditional way to stay smart over summer yes uh, and we actually, we also need to ask your brother what he thinks about it. However, uh, we have one more, uh, one more that we wanted to talk about. And that one would be what? Beast Academy. Beast Academy. Okay. It's another math help for yeah. those of us who actually wants to keep kids, you it know. It helps you with maths. Yes. So what it is, it's, a, it has Beast Academy. Guides and practice books. Yes. So there is, there is a lot of them. And this one is particularly for fourth grade. So it comes with uh, a math practice book and a math guide, which is really cool. What do you get when you squish a comic book and math? So, Beast Academy guides. So this is, a, this is a textbook. This, so you literally, it's like a graphic novel. Except you, you learn stuff from it and it also helps you with the uh, practice, which we'll get to in a moment. Yes, yeah, so everything you have, your characters, and if you're following their, and you're following their adventures and learning something new. And, and they, yes, and that's the whole, um, fourth grade has books A through D and practice books A through D. So, and that should cover the whole fourth grade. And... This is practice. This is what the practice books look like. This is the part where you actually get to write stuff down like you do in school. It's not like the same boring math class in school. <laughs> it's pretty fun. It's like fun. sometimes people think that math is always boring, but if mm, those people are watching this right now, check out Beast Academy because it's really cool. And you actually get to learn something fun. Yes. This is a, but this is a fourth grade, and this lady is now going to the fifth grade. So, she already. Did you read through all of these books? Yeah, I did. And how did you? What did you think? I thought it was really cool because in school they didn't tell us about like five to the fifth power. They never taught us that. Yes, but you thought it was fun. Yeah. And uh, to be perfectly honest with you, the uh, the way how we I learned about these books, uh, my cousin's kids actually well at least i know one of them this is the books that they use in school which i thought was really really cool um but and also they also about to come out with the online version uh they have they will have interactive online beast academy which i thought was really cool i cannot wait to check it out but now let's ask your brother what he thinks about it okay let's call him rj get over here please <laughs> RT, come on. Where are you? <laughs> okay, so we wanted to one we wanted to ask you about Beast Academy. No, what did you what that, did you think about it? That's mine. No, oh, I didn't do that. Yet. I know this is you are working right now on 4A. Look this at is Grog. He's like Brrr. So how did did you are you is this what you're doing this summer? Are you reading through this? Yeah, I'm just doing the crowd. This thing, which is the writing. Yes, like the, the practice book. We also talked about Beats Box. While you were hiding there under the seat. Ha! 
So, what can you tell us about Beatsbox? Do you like it? Yeah, there's coding. Coding? That sounds boring. No. And there's also... Why? So, this is what I found out. That the kids are that they're younger. It's a lot easier for them to do mini apps. And some of these cards have like a little tiny apps on it. But the ones that are more complex, they, some of them don't actually have enough patience to see through the whole app and, you know, get it done. Yeah, I yeah. I actually realized a new app. It was a secret app. The code is 1111. And what, oh, what's one. in it? It's like um, a whole bunch a whole, of um, a whole, like, I think all the employees' faces. Yes. Yeah. One of them's name is Jeff. Yeah, so what do they do? My name is Jeff. They like... Their heads, there's multiple. They go it's, in different they, directions. They yeah, swirl, they, they float. They float. Okay, guys, so I think those are some really cool ways how kids can stay, stay smart over summer. Uh, but do you have any other suggestions? Yes, I do. So there's this game called Prodigy. Mm -hmm. It's a fun math game. It's a math game. Okay, silly face. It's a fun math game that you can uh, you can play it where? On the computer, like basically any mobile device which has like an internet browser. Like so, like an iPad or computer? Yep. Nice, that's cool. There's a new app, it's in, called Incredibox. Incredibox, what is that? Incredibox.com. It's like... Um, what are you learning? Music. Music, yeah. Like, no, rhythms. <laughs> rhythms. Rhythms. Okay, fine, yeah. we'll go with that. There's also a cool so, music Okay, app. so what is it called? Incredible. Incredible. Stuff. Okay, guys, so I'm sure, guys, we have other stuff to do today. I know you want to swim and yep, it's summer. Sure and yes, and I still have to work. So until next time, bye. bye.